Hello and welcome to ALW Collectibles. Today we're going to be looking at a toy I really have been looking forward to. Not just doing a review on, but actually owning. I am a huge Knight Rider fan. I enjoyed the 1980s TV series and I was excited and I've mentioned it more than once on my live streams that I couldn't wait to get my hands on this one and I was finally able to get it. So here he is, Transformer Collaborative. The Knight Rider kit, also known as Agent Knight, from 2024, and wow, looks exciting, it looks really cool, I like this. I really was excited to get this one and to do this review. A couple of things with him, you get, of course, Agent Knight, aka Kit himself, and you get two weapons. One is a pistol, the other is a machine gun. His instructions, and the box. And as usual, I don't do box showings unless they are really special in my opinion. And for crossover figures, I'm excited to do it. So let's take a look at the box itself to start with. And wow, I like that. First off, I love that art artwork right here of Agent Knight. I think that looks really sharp. As my ring light blurs it out on you. It says Autobot Agent Knight. It tells you the batteries you do need because he does have lights and sounds. They are A76 or LR44. You need three of them. Batteries are not included with this set. This logo is pretty cool. You got the Knight Rider and then the crossover logo with the Autobot symbol. On the top, this is an old style looking box. You can see the conversion. Transformers logo in the backdrop with lights and sound. And it actually says right on here, speaks in English only. I'm just putting it out there because that's what's on the box. Some product shots on the side of that box, which look really sharp. There's another one. Bottom is more legal information, that nice cool logo. Authentic Transformer. And on the back... 194, uh, 19, well, 1984 to 2024, 40 years of Transformers. There's your official GM sticker. GM official product. 1980s backdrop. This is his bio, which is really cool. It's kind of hard to see it, but I'll try getting it in camera so you can read it. Function, preservation of human life. In a world where certain crime never rests. Where, yeah, I can read. In a world where crime never rests. Initiate Turbo Boost. Autobot, Agent Knight, is the perfect partner to help protect the innocent. Helpless and powerless from lawless criminals. His strength is a 9. His intelligence is a 10. Then it dips down to 1 for whatever reason. Speed is a 9, and Firepower is an 8. So, very small little bio there. Really, really cool. And of course, I can't speak properly sometimes. Knight Rider inside of the box looks really, really cool. I like that. I had actually contemplated displaying it in the box, but I actually want them out. And you got just the standard instructions, which actually look really nice. It gives nice detail, and it does tell you how to... Put the batteries in. So, and how to activate lights and sounds. Having said all that, let's bring him back in. Let's take a look at that. Really, really nice. First, let's look at his pistol. Cast in black. Looks really sharp. I like that. nothing over the top you do have two pegs on the side on this one this is his machine gun reminds me of the 1980s toys and I noticed this block here I wanted to try something hey you can combine the weapons look at that looks pretty sharp you can go on either side
clip there, cast in black. Looks pretty cool. Very reminiscent of G1 Transformer toys. These do store on him in this mode, right back here. And you'll see that the ports are designed specifically for each gun. On this one, has one on the side here. And then this one goes there. And your barrels have to be facing up. Really, really nice. He is electrical. Electronic, I should say. Right here in the front, there's a little square. You push that. He does have the classic sensor bar. <laughs> and so he has multiple phrases he is a licensed GM custom Pontiac Firebird Trans Am that is a representation of the Knight Industries 2000 from the Knight Rider TV show or as he says Kit Really cool. I like this toy very much. I just think it was phenomenally done. There are some modifications made to it. And we'll get into those when we do the look at them. So let's take the guns off and let's start with that. First off, you'll look. You'll notice this bumper right here, of course. This is the battery compartment and voice box. So this is lower than it should be. It adds another piece to it. Looks really cool though. Autobot symbol right in the front. You got white in the front on the grill. You got the sensor bar right there. And the headlights do open. You got to push in the back of them and lift them up if it would work. You got to push them back on the back and slide them up with your finger in the front. But he does have the lights. And they do close. So that is really, really cool. You got your air scoop right here. It's primarily cast in black. One of the first things to note is that the Pontiac symbol is actually on the hubcaps. They're not on the car. They're on the hubcaps. Other difference from the TV show, these were done with a black covering and then lit up. This is done in red. And then the Knight Industries 2000 logo, which is supposed to be on the front of the car here, is actually on his license plate. There's no custom license plate on this one. Still very cool. You got your gas cap right there. Came out really, really nice. There is a lot of exposure underneath. You can pretty much see where everything is located. It does roll very nicely. Detail work on this was really cool. Um, Trans Am really didn't have over-the-top design look. It had a unique style, and that's what they captured, I think, very nicely with this one. I love the blue-tinted windows. I think it looks really good. And I think it holds together very nicely in transformation. There's not much gapping. It's... Overall, quality control on this one, I really think was really good. Um, as far as a bio goes, though... I didn't have much of a luck finding one. Um, Wiki has a bio, and that's pretty much all I could find. And all it is is the lines from the television show in the beginning. It just says, um, I'm going to go with the Wiki one because that's all I could find. It just says, Agent Knight is a young loner on a crusade to champion the cause of all the innocent, helpless, and powerless in a world were criminals who operate above the law, which is the same thing they say in the television show in the beginning. So, if anybody can find a bio, can, you can send it my way, please, because I'd gladly update it. I'd love to get more information. Um, Back to the Future had a nice bio on his toy, the DeLorean. Um, Jurassic Park, same thing. 
kind of let down with the bio for this one so far. Um, hopefully it updates and there's something more to it, but this is what I can find for now. As always, if I find something better, I'll gladly update the video and let you know. Having said that, with my rambling, let's take a look at Transformation. And there's even more to look at after we transform him. And this is really, really cool. Well, the first thing we're going to do is come to the arms. You're going to pop them because they are pegged in. And you're going to bring them out. It's going to do the same thing it did the first time I transformed him. All right. And now we're going to bring him forward and up out of the way for a minute. Now we're going to go to the doors and open the doors. And we're going to come to these two panels on the legs. And we're going to come to the back piece here and bring that up. That just clips in and it's just going to unclip. We're going to take these parts here, bring them down and out. Close these panels, separate his feet. We're going to take this part, flip it up. And underneath is the toe. Bring that up. And out. There's his legs. Take this piece and spin it all the way around. Now if it stopped transforming early on me, it'd be great. Now, next thing we're going to do is come to the front. Bring this out of your way. This block right here gets pushed in like so. And it will clip. See, there's that one and there's that clip. The head comes up. I had trouble doing this earlier. Rotate the head around. Push it all the way up. Bring this. There's a double hinge here. What's going to happen is it did it for me. Is you're going to push it back on the back hinge and flip it over with the, the second hinge. This is going to come in here like so. Bring his arm down, rotate the bicep, bring his arm down, and rotate the bicep. And the back layout of this, I like a lot. I like how they did this. So, there's multiple hinges back here. You want to make sure the doors stay straight. Because this is actually going to tuck in behind the doors like that. On both sides. You want to make sure it clears the back panel of the door, the bottom half, and these can be angled like so. And I like how that makes the new back. And then you bring your shoulders up and line them up. And there is Agent Knight in his robot mode. I like that. I really do. I think it looks really cool. And the lights and sounds still work in this mode. Have him take a look. Let's take a closer look at him. Face sculpt is really cool. He does have some sculpting that is done deliberately to make him look with the appearance of David Hasselhoff, who plays... N yeah, I can speak. And as soon as I moved him, he popped. Back in position. Who played Michael Knight to represent his um, likeness with the facial sculpt and then this red visor is supposed to represent the sunglasses he always wore. On the top here, this little red bar is supposed to represent Kit's vocalizer in the car mode. Really cool. You got silver on the side of the head. Nice detail work on this. Like here, you got grating in the arms. And the blue down here, it's funny. This is supposed to represent like a pair of blue jeans, so there's more aspects of Michael Knight in here. That's like a belt buckle. So I thought that was really sharp, really cool idea when they did that. 
some detail work inside underneath the feet too. Overall, I like this. I really do like the mold. I like it. Look, thinks it looks really cool. Articulation, head goes go all the way around. Thumbs in the way. Up and down, full exorcist, all the way around. Does have a joint in here. Oh, you can't even see that. Hello. Let's try that again. All the way around. There is a joint in there to allow it to move. Bicep. Elbow. Wrist. Nothing at the fingers. Oh. Waist. Big boot. Back boot. Very good. Thigh rotation. Deep knee bend. Ankle. Front and back. And he does have toe. Really, really sharp. Um, the weapons can be stored on him in this mode as well. Right here in the back. If mine would plug in. Oh. Would be nice if I use the right ones. It's on the clear. I pointed to the wrong one. And this is the one that's going to be a pain in the butt, right? Right. This is the one that goes sideways. There we go. One goes sideways, one goes up and down. So the guns can be stored on in robot mode behind the doors. Better look at them from an upper angle. Looks really cool. I like that. And then you can hold his weapons. And the last thing to show is this. He does have the communicator that was used in Knight Rider. This is removable. You can put this on either arm. It's designed to look like a watch. So you can put that on either arm. So I thought that was really cool. It only fits on one way. It goes right here or, oh no. Yeah, yeah, it can go on either arm, right here. Or right here. So, yeah, overall, I really do like it. I thought it looked really cool. It's something I really was looking forward to. I think he looks really sharp, but that's just my opinion. Having said that, I really was excited for this one. And there we go. Yeah. This has been ALW. If you like what you see, hit the like button. Subscribe if you wish. Comments are always welcome. I want to say thank you to all the channel members and subscribers. I appreciate it. Come on back to ALW as I'll be doing a lot more videos in the next couple days. I'm going to get ready for the next video. And he's going to go find an innocent person to protect. You have a good day.